Summer Spence and welcome to Science Rocks. I'm here at USF St. Petersburg hosting the St. Petersburg Science Festival. And some of our STEM Academy teachers and students are here. Let's check it out. The grand opening of the USF St. Petersburg Innovation Lab is the centerpiece of the St. Petersburg Science Festival. The app programmers connected to these and you're able to explore the solar system. The USF St. Petersburg STEM Innovation Lab is training the next generation of teachers and leaders in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We want to get all teachers involved in teaching 3D printing. Lisa Robertson, a STEM Academy teacher at Pinellas Central Elementary, loves to see her students engaged in STEM learning. We're here with the amazing Lisa Robertson from Pinellas Central, and she has been my STEM Academy teacher for years. Lisa, your students are behind us exploring. What are some of the thoughts that they've shared with you? They think this is the coolest thing that they've ever seen. They're really excited to um, experience the virtual reality goggles because they've never seen it before and play with the robots and the touch the 3D printing stuff. They're very excited. Now, what connections can you see between their experience today and what you could possibly bring back to your STEM Academy this year? I think the engineering design process and they can think about the steps that they're going through with that and to make changes and then make connections to the activities we're going to do. The other part of today's event is where students get to walk the waterfront campus USF St. Pete to explore community partners that have a focus on STEM. Yeah. Do you all know what a sewer is? Yes. yes. What's a sewer? What we've done here is we actually had an engineer from Pinellas County Utilities build us a model and this model is showing the public where their water goes when it leaves a building because a lot of people think that there's just one pipe that leaves their house and goes to the ocean. So we wanted to teach them a little bit about how the plumbing works and how we collect all that water in the sewer system and then we send it to a water reclamation facility where we treat it and we reuse it for irrigation. So over here, this is a, it's a tunnel. Um, on the inside of the tunnel, there's pictures of things that we see in the sewer systems, both the good and the bad, like trash and water and poo. And then on the other side, we have the sewer camera truck, and that's there because we want to show people how we inspect those sewer pipes. We use these small cameras. Instead of having people actually go through these pipes, we drive a little robot camera through there. Ooh, nice. Yeah, find that very small centralized Right there. Sure, so right now we are doing a program we call Fire Quest, where we, uh, after learning the elements of the fire triangle, oxygen, fuel source, ignition source, uh, we try to light a fire without using a match or a light. So we're using flint and steel right here, magnifying glass, harnessing the sun's energy, and we're going to try to get some of this witch's hair, dead Spanish moss, or monkey's fur, which comes from palm trees. We're going to try to get it lit. I need to make a tiny dot to make it on fire. Everyone's got their different level of difficulty with it. Uh, the flint and steel, some people find really easy. The magnifying glass, some people find to be uh, more challenging. But it's really just about patience, you know, waiting to, to really take the time it takes to get the fire lit. Fire. Oh. Yep, she got fire. Tell me what you think. Harmony. I think it's harmony. Wow, look at that. So we've got it. So now we need to fuel it more. It's cool. And it's really neat how you can use a magnifying glass just by putting it on a palm tree's hair. We work for the U.S. Geological Survey and we're going to talk about hurricanes and beach erosion. Whenever there's wind over water, do you guys know what happens? You get waves, yeah. And then when the waves start to hit the beach, the beach will start to erode. So let's see, here we have our barrier island. What are the waves here? So we're gonna do a category one storm first. Let's you guys see what happens. All right, so here our waves are starting. Now look at the front of the beach. You see it's how it's starting it. to erode? Yes. It's creating a cliff. Oh, no. oh, that house fell down. Uh, it seems kind of cool. We're to, try to keep the like we're trying to find out minute, we'll a, 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 like a way to like not make it like fall. How it was like supporting. Retreat is so special down here. The kids are talking about where they want to go to college in the future. They're, they want to go here to USF. Um, they're enjoying 
seeing the new STEM building and seeing real life applications of the stuff that we're talking about in the classroom and the STEM Academy. And I think they're really loving the experience of being around actual college students, seeing them leaving their classrooms. And then on top of that, they're getting to do some really cool science experiments and uh, enjoy the scenery and just enjoying this wonderful STEM experience. And so for you as a STEM Academy teacher, how does this support your professional development? Oh, this motivates me, first and foremost. It makes me want to learn more and do more um, and expose these kids to more opportunities like this. Uh, and secondly, it's showing me that there's a lot of great resources right here in St. Petersburg that we can have access to and um, really show these kids what they can prepare for in the future. Yeah.